All right, we're on a little road trip down to Moab. Um, Gary hasn't been to Moab before, so it'll be his first time. We're gonna do a few hikes and uh, not sure what else yet. All right, we stopped at the hotel in Moab for a little bit. We're about to go out to uh, Dead Horse Point State Park. So we're on the road to Dead Horse Point right now. We're probably 10 minutes away, and you would not be able to tell what we're about to see just from what this road looks like right now. We made it. Gary's leading the way. I just have to capture on video how good he's being right now, posing for a picture. He's never sat this still before. I think he's starting to like getting his picture taken. Yep, so this is Dead Horse Point, just outside of Moab. It's just a state park. Somehow it's not a national park or part of the National Park Canyonlands, which is just over there. Um, this road you see down here, I've driven it a couple of times. You can drive it all the way from Canyonlands, it takes you all the way back to Moab. And um, it is pretty awesome. I'll put a video of me driving it in uh, just a second. So those ponds down there, kind of look like lakes, but they're their ponds where they farm some sort of sodium chemical thing. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but basically they just, they're there to just evaporate and then they can collect the minerals out of it. They got some really neat little trails here. It's a, some pretty cool lookout spots. That's a long way down. That's a big bird. Dog for scale. Not a bad spot to sit and watch a sunset. Not that there's much of a sunset after all today. All right, it's the next day. We're up uh, a little later than I was planning on, but um, we are heading out and going to Corona Arch.
made it to uh, Corona Arch Trailhead. There's only one other car here, which is awesome. Um, it's like one and a half miles to the to the arch, I think, so it shouldn't take too long. I brought my drone too. I haven't flown it in almost a year and a half, so we'll bust that out and uh, see how it goes. This is interesting. There's a railway crossing in the middle of the trail. Don't see that very often. Okay, obstacle number two, getting the dog up this. All right, Gary made it up, now it's my turn. So close, yet so far to still go. All right, we have made it. We just got done flying the drone. It was pretty cool. Um, it's awesome. There's still nobody here, so can't complain. The view from the other side is just as good, if not better. Just give you a scale of how big this is. It's like a hundred feet at least. There's another little arch here called uh, Pinto Arch. And we're almost back. But you can kind of see the uh, Colorado River here a little bit. Uh, we're going to go to a stop in a few minutes and uh, see it a little bit better. All right, we took the little bridge they have uh, across the river, and here is the Colorado River. All right, we're loaded back up in the truck and um, we're heading back to Salt Lake. Uh, our little mini vacation is over.